China's Mekyorg rise in the past few decades has left the world in awe. The rapid transformation of this once struggling nation into a global powerhouse is nothing short of extraordinary. How did China achieve such unprecedented growth when many others with similar resources haven't? Stay tuned as we uncover the secrets behind China's remarkable development and what sets it apart from the rest. In 2014, Bill Gates shared an astonishing fact on Twitter. China used more cement in a mere three years than the US did throughout the entire 20th century. That's right, just three years. China's swift and relentless rise since it began economic reforms around 1980 stands out as one of the most notable economic and geopolitical phenomena of our era. Some economists have even dubbed it the China miracle. Curious about how China achieved such rapid development? Take a look at this image of Shanghai from 1990 to 2010. In just two decades, it evolved from a small village into one of the largest cities globally. China's rapid expansion has puzzled many, including economists. How did a country with 1.4 billion people transition so quickly from a struggling agricultural society to a powerful industrial force, especially when many smaller nations with seemingly better conditions have not managed to achieve similar growth? It's not about the size. India, with a similar population, hasn't grown nearly as quickly. While some might attribute China's rapid growth to its economic opening in the 1980s, other countries like South Korea, Japan, and India also implemented similar reforms. Although these reforms were important, they're not exclusive to China. Some believe China's success is due to its role as a manufacturing powerhouse, capitalizing on cheap labor and globalization. However, many developing nations have cheap labor and are integrated into the global economy, yet they haven't experienced the same explosive growth. So what's the secret behind China's swift development? To truly understand, we need to explore the fundamental drivers of an economy. It all comes down to three key factors, investment, education, and technological progress. Before diving deeper, consider subscribing to this channel to show your support. China has consistently led the way in making substantial investments across various sectors as part of its development strategy. Since 1980, China has directed over 30% of its GDP into infrastructure, healthcare, social welfare, public services, and more. While developed countries like the United States and those in Europe don't need to invest as much of their GDP compared to developing nations, China has maintained this high level of investment for decades. One of the most prominent and influential areas of China's investment has been its extensive infrastructure projects. The government has invested significantly in building and upgrading everything, from high-speed rail networks and highways to modern airports and ports. For example, China now has the largest high-speed rail network globally, linking major cities and economic zones at remarkable speeds. These investments have greatly enhanced domestic connectivity, making it faster and easier for people and goods to travel across the country. This improved infrastructure has also facilitated international trade as modern ports and efficient logistics systems streamline the processes of exporting and importing, making them more cost-effective. So where did China find the funds for all these investments? The answer is Foreign Direct Investment FDI, and State-Owned Enterprises SLEs. China has excelled at attracting FDI, which has been vital to its economic transformation. The establishment of Special Economic Zones SEZs, was a game-changer in this regard. These zones provided tax incentives, reduced regulations, and created a more business-friendly environment, making them very appealing to foreign investors. Cities like Shenzhen, which evolved from a small fishing village into a bustling metropolis, exemplify how SEZs have fueled growth. FDI has not only brought capital but also advanced technology, management skills, and access to global markets. Multinational companies such as Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla, which have established operations in China, have stimulated local industries, created jobs, and facilitated the transfer of technology and expertise. This influx of FDI has been a significant driver of China's rapid industrialization and modernization. State-owned enterprises SOEs, have also been a crucial component of China's investment strategy. While many countries have reduced state ownership, China has maintained and even enhanced its SOEs, particularly in vital sectors like energy, telecommunications, and transportation. These enterprises have benefited from considerable financial support and policy backing from the government, 
enabling them to undertake large-scale projects that might be too risky or costly for private firms. For example, SOEs have played a key role in constructing China's high-speed rail network and expanding its energy infrastructure. The government's strategic oversight of these enterprises has facilitated coordinated efforts in industrial development and technological advancement, ensuring that these critical sectors align with national economic objectives. Market liberalization has been essential for the growth of developing nations, including China and India. However, China's successful development strategy is based on two key pillars investing in its people, and promoting gender equality, areas where India has lagged even with its shift towards a more market-oriented economy. China has made substantial investments in education and health, surpassing India in enhancing standards crucial for a globally competitive workforce. According to the World Bank's 2020 Human Capital Index, India scored 0.49, lower than countries such as Nepal and Kenya, despite being wealthier. In contrast, China scored 0.65, comparable to much wealthier nations like Chile and Slovakia. Although China's female labor force participation rate has decreased to about 62% from around 80% in 1990, India's rate has dropped from 32% to approximately 25% over the same period. China is also well positioned for future opportunities. Seven Chinese universities are listed among the world's top 100, with Tsinghua and Peking in the top 20. Chinese scientists have achieved significant breakthroughs in fields like chemistry, engineering, and material science, and are on track to lead in artificial intelligence. Researchers in China, both academic and industrial, are rapidly generating high-quality patents. Overall, China's superior human capital and greater gender equality have greatly contributed to its higher total factor productivity growth. Once a country has solid infrastructure and strong human capital, it can make substantial strides in technological advancement. Over the past few decades, China has been learning from global innovations in technology. To encourage this, the Chinese government can require foreign companies entering the Chinese market to share their technology with local firms. One method to achieve this is by mandating that foreign companies form joint ventures with Chinese companies. For example, the transfer of high-speed rail technology to China has been crucial for its infrastructure development. Japan's Shinkansen technology, known for its safety and efficiency since the 1960s, was adapted through collaborations with Chinese firms like CRC Corporation. Likewise, German companies such as Siemens provided critical components, including train control systems and signaling equipment, which helped China rapidly develop its leading high-speed rail network. In the automotive sector, foreign firms like Volkswagen formed joint ventures with local Chinese companies such as SAIC Motor Corporation. This partnership allowed Chinese companies to produce vehicles that meet stringent global standards and compete effectively in the international automotive market. Additionally, strong government support for research and development, coupled with the rise of influential tech giants, has established China as a front-runner in technological innovation. These three key factors explain why China has experienced such rapid development. Although other countries have benefited from similar economic drivers, the scale and efficiency of China's government implementation are unparalleled. What do you think are the key factors driving China's rapid development? Share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. And make sure to join our community by hitting the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest insights and developments. Discover more about how these factors shape our world and look forward to an exciting future.